Hello everyone. Greetings in Holy Week. I want to welcome all students and staff members of our six elementary schools and wish all of you a very happy and holy Easter season. Easter is upon us and we have been preparing for the past 40 days uh, by various acts of kindness, by a bit of penance, and by fasting. And I thank you. I threw out the challenge to our students at all our schools to keep a journal. And uh, a couple of days ago, I went around and I collected some really fantastic stuff. It's all here in this basket. I have a basket of Lenten goodies and I'm going to be placing this in a very prominent place in our church sanctuary just to demonstrate to our parish how much you young people can accomplish through effort and through your spiritual devotion as well. I am so proud of all of you. It's been really great. I picked out a few samples of work that was done. Um, I'm just going to mention first names. This was a, a Lenten journey, a journal, sorry, that was done by someone called Rachel. And she had some really, really fantastic stuff. Under prayer for instance, she said that I'm going to be praying the Divine Mercy every day. Wow, what, um, what devotion. Um, she gave up one of the things that she really likes, chocolate milk. Um, for the Lenten season and um, under prayer she also mentioned that she's going to pray for a family friend who is sick with COVID. Um, Miss Bassiano's grade 7 class, my goodness, some really um, amazing stuff here. Um, I have, I'm just going to pick one item for instance under arm giving, someone called Tiona said I can pick up trash that was left on the ground so the world wouldn't be polluted and we humans and animals can live longer. Wow, very deep there, a concern for the environment and the fasting. Um, someone called Audrina mentioned that I want to do less um, or just I don't want to be sitting around, I want to be more productive. What a, what a, what a great um, focus there. What a great plan. Um, Miss Weltman's um, class had some really great stuff as well from some of the kids. Um, this person said that they want to eat less meat. They want to donate. They want to go to church more often. Um, and under prayer, another person called Anthony mentioned that um, he wants to pray at bedtime. Um, he wants to fast from sweets. And he wants to share with all his brothers and sisters some really, really, really great stuff here. Um, and some beautifully decorated items as well. Wow, look at this. This is from Tanisha um, from John Bosco. Isn't that amazing? A very beautiful depiction of the death of Jesus on the cross, which is what Holy Week um, is all about and some really wonderful items. Thank you kids, you really, really did amazing. Um, this item here um, was a very nice depiction of what occurred towards the end of Jesus' life. And it's what we have been preparing for over the past 40 days as well. It's all, it's, it's all in preparation to celebrate um, these final events that took place in the life of Jesus. So this person here, I don't have a name, um, spoke about Jesus entering Jerusalem on the back of the donkey, right up here. And then he celebrated the Last Supper with his disciples. Um, that amazing occasion on which Jesus celebrated the very first Mass. He gave us the gift of himself through the Eucharist. What a treasure that we hold very dear in the Catholic Church. And he washed his, the feet of his disciples as an example of service to others. Um, and then after this, we have the crucifixion of Jesus right here down at the bottom. Okay, that's when Jesus died for us on the cross. And then we have the resurrection of Jesus. 
The story does not end in a sad way. Jesus rose from the dead and this is what Easter is about. And then finally we have the ascension of Jesus. He went back to his Father in heaven to show us where our final destiny is going to be. My dear kids, what a wonderful time of the year and I encourage all of us to try to go out or try to um, look at the live stream of Easter services from your church and to take part in all the events that happen towards the end of Jesus' life. I want to wish all of you a happy and holy Easter. God bless you all and I will be praying for you. Amen. Okay, so just wanted to show you what I did with your Lenten sacrifices, your Lenten journal. As you notice, our colors have changed. Uh, for Holy Week, we celebrated Palm Sunday, and the color for Palm Sunday is red because it records the passion and death of Jesus as well. And uh, there you notice we are no longer in purple mode. And I wanted to show you this. This is what we have done with your... Uh, this is Maria who works for our church. <laughs> and uh, this is what I have done with your Lenten promises. I have put them all here so that every time we celebrate Mass, I'll be praying for you and lifting up to God all the sacrifices and practices that you made during the Lenten season. Um, I wanted to show you something special. You notice I have a butterfly in here? Okay, well, believe it or not, the butterfly... Well, let me show you my caterpillar first. There you go. All right, the caterpillar and the butterfly are the symbols of the Lenten season. And do you know why? It's because the caterpillar... The caterpillar changes into a beautiful butterfly. And this is what happens from Lent into Easter. We are transformed spiritually through our Lenten practices. All these practices, all these sacrifices that you made, it changes us spiritually. So we change from the caterpillar, a humble caterpillar, into... a beautiful butterfly. And this is what God wants all of us to become, a beautiful butterfly. People who are kind, people who are giving and generous, people who exercise self-control, and people who practice love in our lives daily. So God bless you all and thank you for these beautiful, all the beautiful things that you have done for us here at St. Margaret Duville. God bless you all.